on? It's your boy Sketch, aka the artist, coming to you live in the living color. Just talking to you guys on one of my passions. One of my passions is all you guys know is uh, I love to draw comics. Drawing comics is something that I have done ever since I was six years old. That was 30 years ago I started my journey doing this. And one of the things I love to do is to educate younger artists and those who might not be familiar with art to the glory of God and the promotion of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So what I wanted to do is do a tutorial uh, for all those young artists out there who might just be starting off. And uh, I started on the last series about a comic book creation and design was the first one. But now we're going to move into one of my most favorite parts to do in any comic book. And it is always has to be front covers. Whenever you're doing front covers, you always have to remember that it's the thing that covers and attaches people to grab to you. Whoever said they don't judge a book by a cover is lying to you. So this is one of the first images that I'm doing for a project that I'm using for the Fet Galaxy Universe and it's called Jinx. I haven't quite worked out the specs but God has been giving me a, almost an unlimited supply of creativity and it's like every day the Holy Spirit is giving me ideas for comic books and series and things that have been in my mind for the past several hours. It's almost overwhelming sometimes. But let's get back to, to the lesson. Whenever you're doing a front cover, a lot of people would say keep it super intense and dynamic. Well, I say that's a no-no. The reason why it's a no-no is because you want the cover of your comic book to be appealing, but you also want it to be clear where people can see what is going on and who your character is. It does not necessarily always have to reflect the storyline of your comic, but it does have to have some type of appeal to it. So this is one of the first issues I've done, and I'm not doing it in my digital mode, I'm doing it more into my traditional, and uh, probably in the next series of this uh, thing, I'm going to show you the final in the digital uh, coloring of this. I love drawing comics, and I want you to understand whenever you're doing anything as far as comics, the key thing to your cover is to make it bold, make it sharp, and also make it simple where people are actually able to distinct your character and you don't have to always do all of these effects. Keep it bold, plain, and simple. So the next uh, video that we're going to do, we're going to move on to the next part, which is prepping your comic book for uh, for the, your layout and the designs that you want to do as far as your comic and also prepping for a uh, digital coloring of your comment. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I said it is. If you can, don't be a stranger. Inbox me on the likes below and check out my Fave Lane and Maximum Skills page. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your day. It's your boy Sketch the Artist saying back on the grind. Y'all be blessed. Deuces.